What's up, guys? Got another build to show off. This is uh, a new piranha. Um, we just uh, lasered this out of brass. And the heat actually gave it a little bit of pink in a couple spots. See right there in the tail, right here in the back side of the, uh, I guess the fish ribs in there in the face. So that's uh, lasered out of brass. And then I uh, used Ager on it. I did um, the background with, uh, did a brass Ager. Um, I used some bluing uh, just to really, really darken that thing up. And then uh, polished off everything from the raised brass to kind of leave that darkened in the background. So it's like a discolored so you can kind of see it's like a discolored black back in there. And then backside loomed it. Did this in an antique bronze Cerakoted case uh, with matching case back uh, and ring as well as crown. Did the uh, lasering on the crown and case back as well. And this is in an aggressive shark tooth bezel with a gold Yacht Master Diver insert. Uh, gold handset with a custom painted black second hand, and then this is on one of my buddy uh, Jonathan Gillespie's from Wristbound's strap. This strap came out pretty freaking awesome, and uh, good clearance. It's tight, but it is very movable. Some of these are a little tight, and you got to kind of work them in a little bit. They got to rub a little bit, but uh, the only rubbing we get on these. <laughs> is right here where there's actually not something there so it's actually going through so you can see that little lip right here that's for the case back to slide into so where you get rubbing is where there is no rubbing so it looks like there's a rubbing but that's actually where it's not rubbing but um that's the build thought it came out pretty awesome as always, the bezel on this will move. It'll go left, it'll go right. These are not clickable style bezels. These are held on with a tension ring. Uh, automatic mechanical so you can wear it, wind it, put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit to keep time throughout the day. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads. And it isn't the right time right now because I needed good pictures. But the current time kind of like covered up his face good. And I was like, eh, I don't want to do that. So... Anyway, you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. So you're off the threads. You can hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing and just go back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, that mix with the rotor movement, which it's got a rotor in there. You can't see with the solid case back, which is a milled case back. Uh, take a stock case back, mill it, and then Cerakote it and then engrave it. Um, but it's back there, along with a stainless steel bead blasted movement holder. It's cool, but you just can't see it. It's in there. Um, so you just wind. When you're happy with your winding, you'll pull it out to the one and only click. You can wind that all day if you want. Uh, you got a 31 hour power reserve on it. 31 hour plus power reserve on it. Uh, but it's got reversers in there, so you can't overwind or anything. So you can wind all day if you'd like. So when you're happy, you pull it out to the one and only click, and now you can set your time. does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going on you. Okay, Google, what time is it? Somewhere around here. 3.06. Also notice it's got a wobble crown. That deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. It's got a little ball joint kind of where the, uh, where the stem is attaching, so it just kind of rolls. Um... When you're good, push it over, get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. And then where it's actually tight is where that should line up, pointing straight down. But uh, over time, it might wind a little bit further down because you've got your Cerakote on that. So it'll wind, but I don't think it actually makes contact. So it actually should always stay in that same spot. Um, so that is the build. This will be in a waffle this weekend. Um, so if it's going to you, congrats. Thank you for your support. You are getting 
pretty much the best I can kind of do. Um, Cerakote build, custom laser dial um, in brass with cool discoloration on it. So I thought it came out pretty awesome. Uh, so if it's going to you, congrats. Hope you love it. Let's see, what else? As with every build, you're going to get matching beads. Entirely up to you how cool you are, whether you wear those or not. This is also going to come in a piranha box. So it'll come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here in the center. Non-toxic, non-streaking, non-residue. Some leather conditioner to keep this strap perfectly soft. Apply it on front and back. Just let it soak in, remove any excess. A little bit will go a long way. Only use it if that's not as pliable over time as you like it. And then lastly, some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. Uh, it's for your acrylic glass. You can scratch it if you do. Put a tiny bit of this on it and buff it out. Um, the scratches up and down. Go left and right using your included microfiber. And then haze it and then buff it out. So, uh, like I said, if it's going to you, thank you so much for your support. And thank you for playing. And I hope you love it. Um, the strap is super soft. It came together really well. Um... So once again, thank you. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.